In this video, we're going to talk about soccer player evaluations. When it comes to developing soccer players, there's really four that are developed by coaches. And we'll look at each of those four, first being technical, then the tactical side of things, the physical attributes, as well as the mental. Technical skills, those are the things that we really work on, whether it's first touch and ball control and dribbling and all the pieces of it that are unique to that soccer experience. So what we're going to do is talk about how you go through and score yourself from maybe a one, if you're very uncomfortable, maybe you don't quite have the skills yet there, all the way up to a five. For example, on first touch, when it has R and L, that means right and left foot. And what we're really looking at, in order to be a five, you need to be very comfortable with first touch left as well as your right foot. So that's how you want to grade when it comes to um, evaluating yourself. And that's what we'll do as coaches as well and how we can help you to improve because it's not about necessarily what the score is, is relative to where it can be, okay? If we rate everything at a, as a five, that means you really have no room to improve in those areas. Level one, that's probably a low start unless you're brand new to the sport, you've never played it. So that's how we're gonna look at the scoring system as we go through. But first we'll talk about the very first one and that's first touch with your right and left foot. So first touch is how you control the ball the moment that it comes to you. A good first touch allows you to settle the ball and set up your next move, whether it's dribbling or passing or shooting. And then when you practice your first touch, it really helps you to possession. And then it makes it easier for you to work on that next play, whatever it might be. The next one is control. If you look at control, it's really about managing the ball with precision, keeping it close to you as you move up and down the field. So good control means you can dribble past defenders, accurate passes, you can maintain possession, even while under pressure. So it's essential for smooth play, and you can prove it through drills and consistent practice, just really working on it. The next one is dribbling with your right and left. Dribbling is how you move the ball, obviously, while running. It allows you to navigate through defenders, creating space, just different dribbling techniques using the inside of your foot, outside of your foot, turns that we've talked about with the cut turns, both feet and varying your speed. It helps you to become more confident and skilled at getting past opponents. So receiving is how you catch the ball when it's passed to you. This includes positioning your body to correctly and using the right technique, whether it's using your feet, your thigh, your chest, or even your header in some instance where you're receiving the ball. Even helps you prepare for your next action, whether that's passing, shooting, or dribbling. Which passing? So passing is the ability to deliver the ball accurately to your teammates. Good passing involves knowing when to use different types of passes, like short passes, long passes, drops, or through balls, based upon the situation. Practicing your passing can help you become a more reliable playmaker on your team. Creativity. Now, this is one we don't see a whole lot at this stage of the game. It comes about as you progress up through the levels of play into high school and collegiate soccer. But creativity is about thinking outside of the normal and coming up with unique plays. It can involve trying unexpected passes, fancy footwork, or innovative strategies to outsmart your opponents. Being creative really helps keep the game exciting and can lead to surprising chances for us to try to be able to score as a team. And then the last thing that falls under the technical umbrella is finishing. And it's a super important part of what we do. And being able to do so with your right or your left foot is important. Finishing is all about converting scoring opportunities into goals. This involves shooting accurately and effectively, whether it's a powerful shot or a pass into the corner of the goal. Practicing your finishing skills can make you a more dangerous threat in front of the goal and help your team to score more. Thinking about all the pieces of the technical side of things, these technical attributes are vital for becoming a skilled soccer player. A solid first touch, good control, and effective dribbling help you to manage the ball well while receiving and passing create connections with your teammates. Creativity adds a little bit more pizzazz and flair to the play and finishing opportunities so by focusing on these skills, you'll enhance your game and contribute significantly to our overall team success. Right, for technical, next will be more to tactical.